There are a ton of screenwriting books, but where do you start? I mean, what are some of the good ones? What are some books that people expect you to have read or at least be familiar with? And then maybe what are some like really just helpful books? So we're gonna talk about all those today. I'm not gonna give you a whole long list. You can search lists. I'm just gonna kind of give you 10 or so that might be helpful to you and at least give you a place to start. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. As I'm recording this, we just passed 100 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you for, for subscribing if you've done that. Please, if you've not subscribed, hit the button below. Thanks so much. There's also some links below. Be sure to check those out. I'll mention one of those later. Let's not waste any more time. Let's jump in. There are a ton of screenwriting books out there. And if you've looked at all, you will find several books on screenwriting. And a lot of them are really good. My goal is to give you some books that will be helpful to you. So that's what we're gonna do. 10 books, here we go. Book number one, The Tools of Screenwriting by Howard and Mabley. This is a great book that just talks about and breaks down all of the tools that you have at your disposal for screenwriting. So some of them are story related, some are storytelling related, but this is a really fantastic book. Every time I've taught screenwriting, this is a required text. Gotta have this book can't recommend it highly enough. Make sure you go get this one. Number two, The Art of Dramatic Writing by Lyosh Egri. Now this book is primarily about playwriting. The, the author, Lyosh Egri, that's where his uh, expertise lies. But there's a lot of things that transcend and move into screenwriting. And honestly, a lot of screenwriters have read this book. A lot of people are familiar with this book. There's a lot of great things about character, character development, character arcs. So be sure to get this one. Book number three is called Making Movies by Sidney Lumet. Now this is a fantastic book that gives you a broad overview of the filmmaking process from beginning to end. It's really, really helpful. So if you're new to screenwriting and just kind of want to know where does it fit and what's the whole process like, you'll definitely want to get this one. Number four, Screenwriting is Rewriting by Jack Epps Jr. You probably heard the, the mantra, right? Like writing is rewriting. And this book is, it's pretty hefty, but what it does is it gives you kind of the why and the how to approach rewriting and why you should do it. So this is a really great book, especially if you've written a draft of something and you're like, I need to rewrite, how do I rewrite? This is a great book to get and just be familiar with. This one is one that I reference from time to time. I've read it when it first came out, but I will go back and reference it every once in a while. So it is very helpful. Be sure to grab this one. Now I wanna mention four books that others in the industry will expect you to have read or at least be fairly familiar with. So some of these are really, really good. Some of them are, eh, to be honest, but a lot of people read them, a lot of people understand them, so they can be very helpful. So I've tried to pick kind of four of the like really big ones that people expect you to have read. So we'll start with one of the obvious ones, Blake Snyder, Save the Cat. Now this book is more about a little bit about story structure and just how movies kind of work. You can take this one and just kind of make it too derivative and then your screenplay just kind of feels like it's a paint by numbers thing. So you don't want to do that, but you probably want to be familiar with the broader concepts and the broader uh, context of what's going on in this book. So at least be familiar with the content of Blake Snyder's Save the Cat. Next is a book that's been around for a long time, Joseph Campbell's The Hero's Journey. Uh, you've probably heard about the hero's journey or the myth of the hero's journey and all of that kind of stuff. So you will definitely want to at least be familiar with the content of this book. It's a pretty hefty read. It's kind of more of an academic type book, but there's so many great things and great lessons in here. So if you really want to understand hero's journey, things like that, definitely check this out. But people do expect you to be familiar with the story. So if you're writing anything like sci-fi or fantasy or things like that, they're probably gonna be referencing this book. So just make sure you're familiar with the contents, but it's a great, a great book to have. We're now up to number seven, and this book is The Foundations of Screenwriting by Sid Field. Now this book, it spends a lot of time, it's the premise of the book says it's gonna kind of walk you through the process of creating a film, like how to write a script. There's a lot of emphasis in some ways, a little too much emphasis placed on a couple of areas, one of them being character development, where it's like, hey, you know, write 10 pages of backstory and all that kind of stuff, which you don't really need to do. 
but this is a really helpful book to kind of move through the whole process. And Sid Field names some things and calls some specific story moments by specific things that people in the industry do use. So you do need to be familiar with the content of this book. It's a pretty good read. It's pretty informative. Just be, you know, kind of take it a little bit with a grain of salt because there's some stuff in there that might send you off, you know, chasing rabbits that you don't really need to do. The last one I will mention here, I debated whether to put it here or in the must read section. So this one is William Goldman's The Adventures of the Screen Trade. There are just so many great elements in this book to help you kind of understand screenwriting and what it means to be a screenwriter and just the whole process and working in Hollywood and there's lots of little stories, just a really great book. So you do want to be familiar with this one, but this one's just a great read. I mean, you probably just want to grab this one and, and read it anyway. So William Goldman's Venture of the Screen Trade. Let me also give you a couple of books that might just be helpful to you. The first one of those is called Crafty Screenwriting by Alex Epstein. And this is just a really interesting book because Alex Epstein is a producer. So he's writing a book about screenwriting from a producer's point of view. And it helps you kind of think about creating marketable ideas, creating ideas and writing stories that actually have the potential to sell. So this is a really helpful book to just kind of get your brain thinking a little bit different and how people in the industry think about stories and think about scripts. So it's very helpful. Also, if you're interested in TV writing, he's got another one called Crafty TV Writing, which might also be helpful. Both of those are really good. I highly recommend both of those. Number 10 is a book that you might have heard of or be familiar with. It's a book by Stephen King called On Writing, A Memoir of the Craft. It's a really great book. You might even be able to find uh, some free copies. It was a free PDF for a while. I don't know if it's still available online like that, but uh, this is a great, great read just to kind of help you think about writing and the craft of writing and what it takes and what's involved. So this is a fantastic book. I will also give you one bonus one. This is just a great book to just have as a resource. And it's a book, any book, it doesn't matter who the author is, but find a pretty good hefty book on baby names, just baby names. And if they've got like what the meanings are and the origin, things like that, it's a really great resource, especially when you're trying to think of characters and character names. It's really, really helpful. I have one on my shelf, I pull it down quite a bit. so. It's a really great resource to have. So go find a book on baby names. One other thing I wanna mention, below in the description is a link for a free book, The Complete Guide to Story Structure. If you wanna know about story structure, that's your one-stop shop. So be sure to, to click on that, follow that, download that, if that is of interest to you. I want it to be helpful to you, so hopefully it will be. Now, again, as I mentioned, there are a lot of other really great books about screenwriting out there. So if there's other books that you just love or you're like, hey, this really helped me, be sure to put that in the comments below so that others can see that and can find that and find that helpful. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, subscribing, bell, all of those things. I really, really do appreciate it. Again, thank you for uh, helping cross the 100 subscriber mark. So that's really cool. Uh, so thanks for doing that. When you go to tell a story, be sure to read some so you know, you know, what's going on. But when you go to tell a story, tell a story that matters. See you later.